Good morning, friends. In the earliest of the Apostle Paul's letters, he writes to the church in Thessalonica, Give thanks in everything, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. I'm having trouble lately being thankful, as I just had to cancel my Thanksgiving plans to see my kids in Baltimore. Yet I was reminded today of a book that I bought a few years back by Anne Voskamp entitled A Thousand Gifts. Anne is a Canadian farmer's wife and lives in rural Saskatchewan. Have you ever been there? I haven't, but by her description, it's cold and lonely and isolated, the same way many of us are feeling with the pandemic making another surge and our holiday plans in tatters. Being a stay-at-home mom in an isolated area, Anne too found herself discouraged to the point of depression. One day, as she was reading her Bible, it struck her that just 12 hours before Jesus was going to the cross, he was giving thanks for something as simple as bread. As we read in Luke 22, and he took bread and gave thanks and broke it. Anne decided to defeat her doldrums by starting a discipline of giving thanks. Her goal was to list a thousand things she was thankful for. She started noticing, then exulting in small wonders. Morning shadows across the floor, jam piled high on toast, the cry of a blue jay in the spruce. By the time she got to a thousand, she didn't want to stop. She had just been changed by the deliberate practice of thanksgiving. She took the words of the Apostle Paul to heart. Anne's book encourages us to start our own thankfulness habit. The first thing every morning, before even getting out of bed, thank God out loud for three things. Start by thanking God for accompanying you throughout another day. Next, thank him for your th family and friends, the ones that sustain you. And then add one more. This third one should be a different thing every day. Today I'm thanking him that you and I are in this separation time together. In 1 Corinthians we read, I always thank my God for you because of the grace of God given to you in Christ Jesus. Let's pray, shall we? Thank you, Lord, for creating me. Thank you for revealing yourself to me. Thank you for this unwanted time of isolation. During this time, teach me what you want me to learn and make me into who you want me to be. In Jesus' name we pray.